Dear friends, we are going to look into NumPy module today. It is extremely popular in Python community and it is heavily used for scientific computing. We will see why it is so popular. So let's first start by installing it. I will install it using pip. You can run pip install numpy command to download and install it. Uh, while it is installing, uh, numpy's main object is n dimensional array. Okay, so we will look into that array. So here uh, I have my Python idle shell open and I'm going to import numpy module here. So num, I've imported it as np and to create an array object, you will use np.array and in this bracket, you just pass down your list. So this is my uh, numpy array. If you look into it, now this is sort of similar to a list. It is actually very similar to a list. You can access the elements by index. It looks like a list. So the question is, I already have a list. Why do I need this numpy array? Well, there are several benefits of, of using numpy uh, array. Uh, there are three main benefits. Uh, first is it requires less memory. It is fast and convenient. And we'll go over all these three benefits one by one. Okay. So essentially what we are doing is we are comparing numpy with numpy array with a Python list here. Okay. So let's first create a Python list. I'm just going to say range thousand. So I created a list which has thousand elements here and I'm going to print the size of the list. Now to print the size, uh, you need to get a size of one, one element. So one element here is one number. You can give any number here and then length of your uh, list. Second, I'm going to create a numpy array. So this is how you create a numpy array. This function a range is similar to range is going to create an array with elements zero to nine nine nine. Okay. So the size of this numpy array would be thousand and to print the size of this array, you need to call array dot size. So array dot size will give you thousand. Okay and the size of every element will be it will be item size so just remember that array dot item size is size of one element versus array dot size is the total length of an array when you run this program you will notice that the python list is taking taking 14000 bytes versus numpy is taking only 4000 bytes now this is because your python uh, the size of one python object is like 14 okay and uh, versus size of one numpy uh, array object is here in this case since we are storing integer numbers it is only four bytes okay so if you look at this diagram it kind of sh this shows the memory presentation of uh, list and numpy array on the left hand side, we have numpy array, which uh, points to a continuous or contiguous uh, location of memories where you have all your elements stored one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And each of these elements is occupying four bytes of memory. Versus in case of Python list, you all know that uh, in Python, everything is an object. So the list will contain a list of pointers first, as you can see in the diagram, and each pointer will then point to another location in the memory, which will be your object. And the size of that one object will be 14 bytes. So this is the reason why uh, numpy array, the memory usage is very less compared to a plain Python list. Now, when you are array size or list size is very small, you won't notice much difference. But let's say you are dealing with 
with a heavy amount of data where you have millions and billions of numbers to process in that case it will make sense to use numpy all right the second advantage of numpy is that it is fast and convenient so let me prove that point as well so i'm going to what i'm going to do here is uh, all right let me just close this guy here and i'm going to now create here two list first call it l1 and l2 okay so range uh, size so size is thousand here and l2 is also similar so i created two list here and then i'm going to create two array so np dot a range again to create a numpy array and then second array will be called a2 okay now i want to measure the time uh, between list processing and numpy array processing so for this you use start is equal to time dot time and now what i'm going to do is see the thing the operation that i'm doing here is i'm adding these two list i'm adding uh, these two list and producing a new list call call it result okay so to order these two list you have to do something like this x plus y for x y in zip l1 l2 what this will do is it will take first element from l1 first element from l2 add them together and put it in this result as a first element so it will just uh, add individual elements from these two lists and put it in a result okay pretty straightforward uh, and i'm just going to say python list took this much time so right now the time is this i'm going to subtract start from here and i'm going to multiply this guy with thousand because by default it is in second i want to print milliseconds here all right now again at this point i will capture time one more time and then i will store result here so now so this was your python list okay so uh, let me just say python list and here now I am processing numpy array. Right. So that's the difference between these two code blocks. Uh, now numpy is also convenient because if you want to add two arrays, you just say a1 plus a2, right? So it is not like you have to write a list comprehension. Okay, you can just add them together and you can just say print my numpy took uh, this is just a way to measure the time that uh, this code block took okay all right so let's run this program here okay it says python list took 0.0, .0 numpy took 0.0, .0 because this size is pretty small so i'm going to increase the size and do a processing for um about a million elements here now you can see that in order to add million uh, elements from two list, Python list took 116 milliseconds versus numpy array took 11.5 seconds. This is crazy fast. So you can see that again, when you're processing millions and billions of numbers, it just makes sense to use numpy. It, it is also convenient because you can see that if you want to add two lists together, you just do A1 and A2, A1 plus A2. I, I will just demonstrate that using idle because it's a uh, it's little easier to demo that in idle. Uh, so I'm going to create, let's say, two numpy array, okay, A1. A1 is np.array. It has one, two, three, and a2 is again np.array it has let's say element 456 okay so you can do a1 plus a2 so it will give you 
the addition c4 and 1 5 2 and 5 7 and so on you can also do a2 minus a1 so you can see you subtracted this guy from here you can also do multiplication so a1 cross a2 you can do division and so on you can do all these operations okay so that was all about numpy introduction you saw that why numpy is so better than so much better than the plain python uh, list uh, we will cover more about numpy in our next tutorial thank you for watching